Good afternoon, Fret friends. My name is Victor Christian, and um, we have a new project in today. And I'm not going to try and not show you the headstock, so you can guess what this is. There you go. You know, oh, you say something along the lines of that's probably a Jackson. And you know, you'd be almost right at thinking that, except it isn't. It's a Cadenza, whoever they are. I have not even bothered Googling who Cadenza are. Owner of this guitar, bought it in. It says it needs a setup, kind of set it up, put some new strings in it, blah, 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 give it once over and do what needs doing. Charge whatever it costs and blah, 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 do whatever needs doing. And it's a very nice guitar. And if I had to guess where it was made, I would probably say, I'd be thinking Korea. And I'd be thinking 90s, but it's not in that bad a condition. So it's going to be later. It's going to be in noughties and it's probably going to be Indonesia. But it plays brilliant. I've had it plugged in. It's fantastic. It's a heavy metal guitar. It's perfect for metal. I've just had it plugged in. It also needs a new three-way switch, by the way. So I've got all to the electrics in there. Um, but apart from that, I don't know what's wrong with it. If anything, I know, oh, I do know what's wrong with it. I do know some things. There are five, at least five high frets. So it may need a complete fret level. Any more than five, we're going to get a complete fret level. But Jamie said, no odds bar, do what needs doing. Stick a new three-way in there. Put some new strings in it. Blah, 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 blah. So what I'm going to do is, I've had it plugged in, I've played it, plays fantastic. Floyd Rose still needs setting up. Nice, decent Floyd Rose under license. The fact that that's a license under Floyd Rose patterns makes it look like a 90s tremolo to me. Maybe taking the Floyd Rose out and looking inside the body will, will, will uh, reveal some more information. I don't know, but I don't know anything about this guitar. What I do know is Jamie got it at an absolutely wonderful price. It cost him. 35 English pounds. For those of you who are not English, that would equate to about 38 euros or 45 US dollars. Come on. Come on, what are you saying? And this plays as good as any Korean Dean I've ever played. And I do like Korean Deans. Glued in there. Very nice Floyd Rose license tremolo in there. One volume, one tone, three way switch. Uh, Top mounted locking knot. Tuners are giving nothing away, but don't say anything on the back of there, do they? No, they do not, just your standard fare. I would like to think this is a Korean guitar, but I'm, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe it's a, well, it'd be Korean, but nice if it was a Korean guitar. Because Korean guitars make guitars for anyone, or they were in the 90s, no problem. I just have a weird, sense that it's a Korean guitar but don't quote me on that. The inlays are put in really quite nicely. When you see the Chinese and the Indonesian guitars the inlays are not put in quite so well. Here there's no big gaps between the inlay and the wood. They are pretty much bang on. So that is just a, sus a suspicion. I think it may well be Korean but looking at how old I think it is and there's no big chips on the end. Probably a later one, it's probably even a noughties, it might even be made in the last five, ten years. I don't know, I've got absolutely no idea. But anyway, I'm gonna get the strings off. I'm gonna in fact I'm gonna take the truss rod cover off, test the, the truss rod, make sure that's working fine, because if it is, you'll know with me for next fine and the truss rod works, we've got a fine, fine guitar. We've got a guitar with potential to be exceptional. But if the neck is not straight and the truss rod doesn't work, the guitar will never ever be any good. Take that from me. So, got to crack on, get strings off, check the truss rod in the neck, get strings off, and then we can crack on, see what I want. I will come back with my appraisal in 15, 20 minutes, let you know what I'm going to do with this guitar, and I can put it away and crack on with this. This is going to be one for next week. Stay tuned. So, the truss rod is bang on. Uh, just a small turn and the truss rod's moving. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. So, really good truss rod. Uh, I've got the neck absolutely straight. Blah, 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 blah. Beautiful, there you go, not straight edge over the neck. That is a straight neck. I've been across with a frets rocker. There are 11 high spots, or very high spots over 11 frets. I've got about four really high frets, so I am going to give it a complete fret level, which is time consuming. It, it takes a job from being a two hour job to a five hour job. And uh, you know, and all I get for that extra three hours is 25 quid, boom boom. Uh, not brilliant, but it's the way it goes. I do like fret leveling, I do a lot of it. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to move the camera, I'm going to go across with a fret rocker. Easy to explain, four different lengths on a fret rocker. This is precision cut, laser cut, it's laser cut, 
milled absolutely flat and what we do is we go across three frets at a time and if we get a rock it means the middle one is high and we're going across the fingerboard we start at the neck end and work our way toward the body end going short, shorter each time so we can always check three frets and if we get a rock the fret is high I'm going to move the camera I'm going to bring it round where you can see uh, I'm going to go across we're going to show we're going to determine that the, the neck is straight and we're going across legitimately with a fret rocker just give me a couple of seconds tiny turn just to determine that the neck is absolutely straight another 16th turn and there you go we've got no gap under the not straight edge we do have a tiny one at that back end there now just go back a little and that's it straight neck I'm going to go across with a fret rocker I'm going to mark these frets off as I go along you will be listening for a rock so rock on this edge always three frets at a time far edge now come narrower Near side, far side. One, two, three frets so far. Near side, middle, near side. Well, that's four frets. Guitar's been dropped with some dings in the fingerboard there. It's not going to cause a problem. Quite high in the middle, that one. 12 fret, that's five. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five frets so far. That's high again in the middle. That's six. We're already in the complete fret level area. Once we've got past four, five, we're looking at. That one there as well, so that's another one on that far side. That'll be Jamie now. I've just told him it needs a fret level. He will okay the work. I've given him a price, he'll okay that as well. A little bit high there. I think I do believe that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frets so far. That's very high in the middle. That's nine. Ten. That's on the far side. Ten frets. And that one. And on this side. Can you hear that? So there you go, we have eleven frets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven frets with higher spots, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen higher spots over eleven frets. So complete fret level for this one. I'll remove the knot in a moment. Get this all prepared and ready for a complete fret level. There you go, beautifully straight neck. What we'll do is we'll mask off all of the frets. Oh, well, we'll mask off the uh, fingerboard and leave the frets exposed and we'll level the whole lot in one go using a leveling beam, uh, which I will explain more about later. So we've ascertained that we need a complete fret level, complete setup, replace the freeway, uh, resolder the electrics, we'll give a complete setup where we'll reset the tremolo, we'll strip that, rebuild it. All the tuners on the far side as well, we'll remove it, well, we won't remove them, but we'll just check all the nuts and bolts on those. All the electrics will be checked, the intonation will be checked and done. All the wires will be checked, blah, blah, blah. And that will be it. Back soon.